Hi guys, hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Lola. So today I have small projects, stuff I got from a thrift shop or antique mall, and I will update them and then let you know what can we do with them and how to style it. So stay with me and let's do something today, guys. I will show you my projects today. The first one is this uh, panier uh, basket. Sorry, I got this from Antique Mall for uh, four dollars. So it's missing the other handle, but it's okay. So if you have this uh, kind of basket, don't throw it, guys. You still can use it either for storage or to put your plants. And you don't like the color? Easy, just paint it and then the second project is i got this ducks uh, tree i definitely don't like the colors i will update it with the texture paint i want to make it look like a, a cement statue something like that yes yeah, so do this cute ducks uh, oh yeah, I forget to mention the price is only one dollar each. You can see my husband working outside, don't you? <laughs> okay, this is the last one. I get this clock for two dollars seventy-five, also from thrift shop. I definitely don't like the color, but it still works. I try it with a battery; it works. I don't know, what do you think? It's it's green, it could be for Christmas, but cannot be Christmas every day, right? So I think I will paint this, spray paint it. So stay with me until the end, okay? And let's see the result and how I style it. Okay guys, let's work with this uh, basket first. I want to I want to cut this handle because to make it look uh, cohesive because it's only one handle I'm gonna use this Ta-da! Voila! That easy! Now it looks better and I will bring it outside to spray paint it with Rust-Oleum. So guys, the basket is ready. Uh, we seal the paint also with the clear uh, spray paint. And you can stop right here or I can stop right here, but I think I want to give this uh, like a little bit high. So I cut uh, my 
spindle to make leg. I have a spindle stash. And I think it will look good. But I'm just going to use my uh, hot glue to make the legs. So let's do it. If I don't like it, I can always take it off again. I'm only using three legs. Alright guys, in the end I put the screw on for the legs because in the end if I decided to put plants, I want to make sure that this legs strong. So for the studs, I will remove the what you call that this ribbons this flowery thing and all the price I will clean them and I will give them a spray paint first black as a as a cover to cover all the colors and after that I will go with my uh, texture paint and I will cover the face of the clock with a painter's tape and I will spray paint it black Moving on on our second and third project, I give them a spray paint with black color. So look at this text guys. This is after I spray painted black with Rust-Oleum. It looks so much better already. Looks good. I love it. But we're gonna give like a cement look. So I'm gonna use two paint. One is from Apple Barrel, this color, pewter gray, and one is from Folk Art, steel gray. So I will mix these two colors and then put a baking soda so it's textured. So let's do it. Let's start with this duck.
Okay guys, so I'm done with the bottom parts with the stocks. So I will let it dry and I'll come back after this. Okay guys, it's time to uh, paint the other side of this. All right guys, this is done. It's all dry. Now it's time to give white wax on this cute duck. So this is the white wax and we're just going to put all over it. Just to show the details. And then we remove just to leave some white there just to make it look like cement. So the duck is almost finished, now it's time to continue to the third project. So guys, the clock is done. I just want to give a little bit color on the details with the cement color mix. So only for the details using like a very small brush. So it looks like this guys I think it looks good Oh yeah, I need to work on the side too Okay guys, here you can see that I put plant inside the basket, but this is option number one, which I really like it.
now this is option number two I put towels inside the basket I can put it in my bathroom or I can put blankets for my living room now this is the third option for me at least I can put this with toilet roll inside and make my powder room look pretty Alright guys, that's it for the project today. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you like this kind of content like small projects, updating stuff from either dollar store or thrift shop or antique mall and how to style it. I, I love to make this kind of video. And then don't forget to leave your thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel and share it to your friend. You know someone that will like my content because it will help my channel to grow bigger. So thank you so much for visiting my channel and then watching my video. See you all again in my next project. Okay, ta-da!